Hello everybody, welcome to the Tribulation Institute. My name is Jeff Forster and I'm glad that you're here today and it is the day that the Lord hath made. Yahweh Elohim and I will rejoice and be glad in it and I hope you are too. You know, if you look at the things going on in the world today, it's kind of hard to uh, to believe that. Why? Well, it's because you're looking at the wrong thing. We're looking, I believe, too much at the work of Satan and what's going on in his world, the kingdoms of the earth and, and all these elite rulers that are all possessed by demons, the fallen spirits of, uh, of the Raphim, which were the offspring of the Nephilim, the fallen angels. They were cast out into the second heaven a um, long time ago. Anyway, it is a great day. What we need to look at, contrary, and I'm going to get into that tomorrow in a presentation you do not want to miss. If we look at what's going on in the world, we'll stay fixated on it. And they want to get us into fear. Well, I'm a strong believer. and It's been my favorite verse for 40 years, which is Romans 12 too. Be ye not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove, be able to do, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yah is. And what is that? The Bible says, for this reason, the Son of Yah was manifested, that he would destroy the works of the devil. And he did that when he was risen from the dead by the Holy Spirit. And the authority that he has, he has given to us. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father till his enemies are made his footstool. Now, I'm going to get into all that tomorrow, but what I want to do today, as I promised, is I go to a lot of YouTube channels and I uh, comment, I listen to the comments, I see the people, I listen to them, I hear them crying out. They don't know what to do. They know what's going on, but they do not know what to do, and that's the purpose of this website, to edify you, to lift you up. To show you in the word. what That's where faith cometh. Cometh by hearing. Hearing by the word. But it's by the truth of the word. Not a not, not your pastor's word. Not my word. Anybody else's. We need to be like the Bereans. You need to check out with the Holy Spirit. To see whether or not what I'm saying is true. Not based on what you've been taught. Or what you think. But by what the Spirit says. And I have full confidence. That if you do that. With an open heart. A heart made of flesh, not a stone, then he will equip you for the work that is ahead. What is that? Revelations 12, 2 says that Michael, the art, art, the archangel, kicks the devil and a third of the angels of heaven that fell with him into the earth. He says, salvation has come to the dark places, all right, the second heaven where he resides. He comes in and out, but there's a point in time that he's coming to the earth, and he says he knows his time is short, and he has great wrath, and he's coming after the woman. Uh, tomorrow we'll get into who that woman is, not what the false church teaches, and i tell you who it ain't. It ain't the government over there in, you know where, way across in the Middle East, in that nation. It ain't that. Anyway, we're called to be overcomers. It's the overcomers. And we, when we have been conformed into the image of Yahshua, not the image of the beast, and we have reached that number in Revelations 11, the two witnesses measure count. And when that number reaches the number that he has set, 144,000 is representative of that number of his saints that have overcome. And it's then and not until then that Satan is kicked into the earth. And I'm going to get into all that. Uh, you, don't have, you, you, you don't have to wait till the next videos. I've got 
a few hundred now, but I've got thousands of pages on my websites that discuss everything that you need to know so that you'll be an overcomer. And the number one thing you need to do, go to is Larry McGuire, who is no longer with us, his website, The Overcomer's Refuge. And if you don't understand what's going on in there, which is what I try to uh, to teach, then you're not going to understand your place and you're not going to have the victory that he wants us to have while we're here on this earth. Anyway, so I have been heartfelt for all these people crying out and not knowing what to do. And in the last video, I gave a... Uh, a prophecy that was given to me back in 2020, September 24th, and as I was searching and praying and asking my Father in Heaven to give me uh, a word, give me something to tell His people that don't have the ability right now, don't have the wherewithal, whether it be the funds or whatever, to get out of those cities that He has going to destroy if you don't understand what's happening down there at the southern border okay you know you need to really get your head out of the sand and i'm talking to you uh, coming out of the spirit of love but anyway before this video gets too long let me let me read to you so he gave me a prayer for you to pray so i don't know if you call this a word of prophecy it doesn't matter but anyway here it is a prayer for those seeking a way you know, he made a way for me when I when I came off the grid, left Denver um, about 13 years ago. Lives in my truck. It's almost 30 years old now. Almost an antique. Still going. I lived in it for five years. And then he made a way off the grid for me here. Penniless. He'll do it for you. I know he'll do it for you. That's his promise. But anyway, let me get into it. So he said this. Seek ye first the kingdom through my gospel and receive my spirit of Elijah while you are doing so. Believe it. It shall be given to you. Trust me to deliver you from Pharaoh who will not let you go into the wilderness to seek me. He wants to kill you so you can... He wants to kill you. So you know the rest of the story, where I pour out my fury, and with an outstretched arm, bring you out with gold and silver to barter in the desert for certain needs. I will provide all else. Babylon, you must exit as in Isaiah and help your fellow saints till I bring you into the land flowing with milk and honey and saints and giants. But you will become giant killers by the fire of your mouth as I will when I return. Joel's army, go thy way to follow me. And all I say, obey my gospel, the gospel of the kingdom. And it will come your way. And uh, I believe that it is done. No, believe that it is done. When you pray it, you don't wait for it to happen. He says, believe when you pray. Believe in his word that says that when you pray these things, these things will happen. But you say, I can't. Well, good, because that's where you need to be. Because it's in your own strength that it ain't going to happen. It will be in his strength. And he will lead you to those people, like believers, that believe the same way and that will help you. So, you've come to end... Uh, I'm going to go in detail over Isaiah chapter 10, uh, in chapter 14, chapter 13, chapter 26, because I told you the other day, he gave me these words, indignation. And uh, the, the teachers, which I used to be one, of the pre-tribulation rapture, 
Tisha will be raptured, you know, uh, go as it were for, you know, for a short while, while my indignation passes over. That's not his wrath. That comes later. That's the last three and a half years. And his indignation is his coming against Pharaoh. But you need to be in the place of safety. And I'm not, not talking about Revelation 12. That's later. Okay, That's for when the overcomers have overcome Satan and he's kicked out of heaven. Why? He can't bother them. They've overcome him. And that's my desire to help you and what this YouTube channel is about. I thank you for coming. And as always, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. Then hit that little all button when it shows up. The little black at the top where it says all. So you get the notifications of all my videos. They're, they're upcoming. But don't wait till then. Look at what I've already said. But you, you don't want to miss these. Well, look, time is getting short. It's time to quit playing around, quit playing church. If you're in one of them churches that teaches a wimpy gospel, you can do anything you want to, and you'll be raptured out of here, you need to come out of it. I've been trying. I've been saying this for almost forty years. Anyway, I love you, and I hope to see you next time. Have a blessed day.